about set to drop the puck tonight. The Whalers win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Here's a chance! Denies him! He got all of it! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Tapara is going to start with the puck in their own end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Mancini's stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Lee. Takes the feed. And that's intercepted by Cronwall. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Some great thievery in the open ice. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Picking up some steam at center ice. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Gordon's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. strike on the power play, guys. We gotta look to him to unleash that zone ability and possibly get them a good look here. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Cronwall. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Play is called for offside. Gilmore's turning helps him skate into new lanes to create space to make a move, guys. His elite edge of zone ability means he can carry that speed into those turns to keep the momentum on his side. Here's a short pass to Gilmore. Perfectly executed hip check there. Moves it to Dupuis. Scoops up the puck now. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. Lee's gonna play it against the half wall. Slides the pass over to Gilmore. Gets it out of his own end. Gordon's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference and you don't? It's frustrating and it's a real momentum killer. Shot! Oh, what a save in front! Repetitive practice has made him an expert at this shot, James. He is so dangerous. He can get it off quick, and he can get it off in stride. He does just that, but the goaltender makes an incredible save. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Gilmore has won the draw at center. Quick feed to Peterson. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass. Looking to set up offensively. Chicago's got it now. Turns him away. Penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. Cronwall's hit. Not viewed positively in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. The Whalers once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it. Look for different adjustments to be made. Send it down the ice. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Over the line they come. Pucks it away in his own end. Handles the puck. The Whalers carry it along the wall. Chicago's got the puck in the corner. From against the wall into the open ice. And he takes a shot. Going with a stop. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, this is a good call because it is interference. You have to allow your opponent to fight for a loose puck. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. The Whalers have it now. 
He grabs the puck here at the point. Gilmore has got it against the boards. Big time stop. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Peterson's got a quick release and when he's in motion, his shot is so hard to catch. That's his make it snappy zone ability and it gives him the edge when he's coming in hot. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. The nice of in front. The Whalers PK unit delivers in a big way. Broken. Oh! Well, up in the car, up the freak. It's 20 minutes and free. I love this kind of goal, James. I mean, you're heavy on the forecheck. You're hounding the pucks, and you're not allowing your opponent to get anywhere. They're back on their heroes. You continue to wear them down. They cannot get a line change, and you make sure that you convert on the opportunity. That's just a great goal. Vancouver's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. they got to continue to execute if they want to wind up with a W at the end of this one. Grabs it in his own end. Now he takes it over the line. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Grabs possession of the puck. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Excellent stick work on the play. Trying to shake loose. Oh, what a defensive play. Shuts him down. Holmes gets a hold of the puck. Chicago's going to play it from the corner. Stones up with the blocker. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Head. And he's perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. Well, I really like the effort on this old James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Will Tenner's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. And now it's grabbed by Dupuy. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Big shot. Score! So oh, a little flick of the wrist was all it needed. Well, this is his textbook shot, isn't it, James? And it's a beauty. It is the quick release. No one knows where it's going to. Not the goaltender, not the players in front of him. He just finishes. Always amazes me how strong the wrists have to be in order to pull off that effective snapshot. I mean, he's known for it. How many shots has he taken like this? And just another one, he fools the goalie. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Chicago's trailing by one. Tapares won the draw in the neutral zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked off by Mancini. Oh, textbook. He can't hang on all of that one. Denies him again. Quick pass to Holmes. Quick shot. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this.
frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Chicago's had a terrible start to the game, James, but guess what? They're only down by one. Game's still close, so they have to manage their turnovers. If they can do that, they can get back in it. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Taken by Peterson. On the attack along the boards. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds the puck over to Holmes. Vancouver's gained possession. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Gordon's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Gilmore is ready to take the draw here on this power play. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that carries off a body in the lane. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Mancini's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Chicago's won the defensive zone draw. And that pass is intercepted. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. That's a fantastic save, James, and you got one of the greatest shooters in the league in terms of their snapshot, and he almost snaps his twig in half, and it's a disguise shot, so the goaltender has to be ready to be able to make that instinctual save. Tremendous hip check on the play. Quick pass across to Gilmore. Chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Gilmore is exploring options with the puck, and that's off a stick. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Chicago's got it in their own zone. And that's stolen by Peterson. Tapar has been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game. But now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Mancini's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. And that's broken up. Scooped up along the wall by Peterson. Tries to the crease. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands. And now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace. Controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, the backhander's going to beat the goaltender on this one, James. But I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. Tapera's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Oh, he got puddled by Edwards. Well, 
love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it and makes a save. Here's a shot and makes a save. And he takes the feed. He's got a step. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And not much on that one. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Peterson. Rips it. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Uh, you don't get many opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Oh, what an effort to block that shot. Coughs it up on the play. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit, knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Vancouver's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, James, if they can work that puck up high, when you're quarterbacking that power play, you can have eyes on either side. You can see the lanes in net, you can drive the puck, or you can pass for a one-timer off the side. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the pass. Transfers! He scores! Well, hands, hands, and four mitts on that play. Magic mitts, James. And you know, it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet. And man, this was a clinic. But after the deke, the ability to finish two, all the way around, textbook. Mancini's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Gilmore's won it. Puck moved over to Peterson. Vancouver's on the attack. Slot shot from the point. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Tapera's got a hold of it along the wall. The Whalers will play it in their own end. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Holmes is now standing ready to get back on the ice. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal on that power play. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. And I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Pokes the puck away. Slides it diagonally to Gilmore. Off a stick, and they can't connect. And the extended stick ends that one. Moves the puck down low. And that's a smart heads-up play by Lee. And that's deflected off someone in front. Holmes' play is certainly indicating that there's something wrong with him on this shift, James. He's going to struggle through it, but I expect that he'll be looked at by the trainer. Picked up along the boards by Gilmore. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Puck grabbed by Lee. And he can't hang on after that hit. Fires it on now. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. And we are underway here in the third, still evened up. Will we see that go-ahead goal here? Cronwell's moving the puck through his own zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. I'm surprised he didn't score here. I mean, he's got such a magical shot. It is so quick, and he disguises the release. But the goaltender caught up to it. Oh, my goodness!
Davis, it's Tina, what a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Well, he takes another penalty, and now his team is compromised yet again. I expect he won't see the ice much more, James. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. An opportunity on the power play here. You've got to forget about that shorty. Otherwise, you're going to be scared to handle that puck at the top. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Passes it in front. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Chicago's looking to break out. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Shot. Beautiful save. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Mancini's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Gilmore has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Grabs the puck at center. And now it's grabbed by Peterson. to your team and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Vancouver's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here, and we are still tied. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK unit to stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Yeah. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Peterson's going off for interference. The Whalers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Chicago's got the puck here in the open ice. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Gilmore's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And off the draw, they take the puck. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Came up with the save on that play. Rips it and rips it. Incredible reflexes on the puck saved by Edwards. Oh man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Holmes has it in the defensive end. Circles back to center ice. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Mancini's known for having that offensive prowess, guys. He showed up tonight and even used his zone ability to get in on the scoring. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Here they come on the attack. And he loses control here. Holmes picking up steam. Puck exits the zone. Peterson standing up, ready to go. Vancouver's PK unit comes up clutch. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. The Whalers move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And the defenders come up with the puck. The Whalers going to work on offense. Quick pass to Lee. Oh, what a stop by Edwards. Good stand-up hit on the play. Works it across to Peterson. And he takes the feed. Gilmore has had a great game offensively, James. He's been all over the ice, really buzzing around. The reason why he's got three points. And now it's over to Mancini. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Takes a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Here's a chance in front. Oh, what a chance, and that goes off target. This is the best 
part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Oh, what a hit check on the play. He delivered that perfectly. Chicago's in transition. Vancouver's got the puck. And he takes the dish. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. Picked up along the wall by Dupuis. Tapara's got a hold of the puck now. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. A critical draw here. Chicago's got it in the defensive zone. There's the physical side. And he had the answer on that one. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Fires it on net. Nice stick save by the goaltender who got a piece of that one to swat it away with the twig. All alone. Oh, what a save and a huge stop here in this third period. Well, and you know that stop is going to lift his team up. The ability to give them some momentum here late in the third. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, and he lines up his opponent perfectly with the hit check. Sends it out in front. And that goes off someone in front. Holmes moves it into the attacking end. Big time hit check there. That's how you finish a play. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And that's deflected. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Cronwall. Drives to the paint, and that one's turned aside. And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. Get your overtime picks in, because they are ready to drop the puck. Looking for heroics here as they get underway in overtime. Moves it quickly over to Gilmore. Along the half wall with the puck. Chicago's got the puck. Gains the zone through center. Fires it! Makes the save, right positioning looked easy. Gets the puck over to Dupuis. Oh, what a hit check. He got all of that. Here's a shot.
Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.